Well, I can, as you can see, I had made some preparation and this kind of crown is ready for the starting. The first step is the biomass production. And believe me or not, this is the most easiest part. It's very simple and easy to set up it. Let's first start with the basic. Let's first placing an energy buffer. On this case, assessor. And then play and place a low voltage transformer just on top of it. And it's wrong. I should make it one higher. Darkness, 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 darkness. And I'm stuck. Let's go again. Cable, storage, and transformer. Now we are talking. As you probably know, I don't like things on the ground. I prefer this somewhat higher. We have four sides on this transformer and we're gonna use all four sides. The first machine you're gonna need is a low voltage item buffer. And you're gonna set it right. Output in that direction. And place a pipe. The next machine is the parker, as you saw earlier. Let's place it here. The output on, on this direction. But we need to place a shape on it. So let's make a shape. Really quickly, they craft one item as one by one item. Nice. Now we place it here, and it's done this part. Another pipe, and the next part is a good and old basic macerator. We place it right here. <laughs> Range on this side so you can't bolt. Conform, and this is going to be the last one. Right in the front, and to into a fluid solid solid candy machine from ice cream. Nice. Now let's put into the correct that is food in which tank or cellar. Now with this we have almost all the basic setup set up. Always life is to get the filter done correctly. Now we need to bring the pumpkins all the way to the farm, so we need to make a new hold for this. Go all the way here, and then come here, to the fighter. Oh well, I fixed that later. Now what's left is to do like this, and you connect. And once I set up the filter correctly to accept pumpkins, they will start to arrive here. Yay! But I don't want the production of methane to stop. So when they want one single slot, limit fuels. I want the has to go here. But to do so I need to use a restrictive electron pipe. This is pretty easy to make, just place the pipe with some steel rings into the assembly. No big deal. This will make this pipe have a huge hooting value, meaning that it, after it has exhausted all the normal pipe range up to 100 pipes, it will go lastly here. So once I place it, all the remaining pumpkin that ha has nowhere to go will end here and it will start to be processed. And that will generate power, because you need some power to start the system. And I'm stuck here. Now 
now the system will work just like this. The field will receive the pumpkin, output it to the, to the packer. When it starts receiving power. For now, let's deactivate this. I'm gonna wait some time. And while we while we're waiting, this will need water, so let's make a hole in the to the floor. Oh my. And place some wood pipes. Because there is a tank right there, so give me water please. Thanks. But there's not just one tank, there is two at least, so I need to collect both of it. Well, this is gonna be more easy than expected. Well done. Now that he has started some power, it's time to explain what will happen. The buff, the filter, we get some pumpkin here, which is gonna be export to the packer. And because it's said on that format, you know what you're gonna do when you craft a pumpkin into a long slot, right? You get seeds. So go. As you see, seeds are mating, and they will arrive into the basic macerator, where they're gonna be macerated. And when they're macerated, they're gonna be tossed into the fluid canning machine into Elderic Enrich mode. And when that happens. We have bio, bio chef here with water into Elderic and it will produce to us biomass. This is basically all the steps we require to make biomass for machines that will work for as long as it get pumpkins and all the process. This will be probably the first choke time because shook because of water until it's completely full of it but that's pretty simple I won't have to wait until I have a packer because it's more simple if you want you could ju have just place two macerators if you macerate the pumpkin you get the seeds then you need to do ag macerate again the seeds to get more the more bio shaft I like this format, it's getting us biomass. But you still need a way to pump it out. So we're gonna go and make some fluid extractor upgrade from our industrial craft tool, which is like this. And be warned that this is gonna be a constant crafting, so make a lot of it. You understand I'll it soon. Now that the biomass production is set up now we need to work on the biogas production and that is the second mo most expensive part of it because it requires a lot of machines and now for the next step we need something to turn the biomass in biogas and that is fermenters ah, fermenters for that is just all this iron eating casing empty cells and this Heat conductor. Let's make it. And since it's a thing I'm gonna need to craft constantly, let's make a lot of it at first. Let's make this then. Let's start with four, just to show you. I will make it more later. But this need the heat to start working, and for that you're gonna need to use a fluid heater exchanger, which is almost the same thing, but now with the universal cells instead of the common cells. Let's just place this all like this, and just because we need to have four fermenters, let's get four. 
with heat generators. And while you are here, let's see the solid you want. Oh, it's require a furnace and some iron plate. Just a second. Got it. So three iron plates, an iron furnace, and one heat conductor give us a solid heat generator. You understand that for now. This step is expensive because you need to build these feed, feed heat generators, the fermenters. You also going to need one fluid ejector for each of the fermenter, and in the future you're going to need also one item ejector. But uh, we don't need it right now. Also, you're going to need a lot and a lot, a lot of pipes, fluid pipes. So let's get down here and start to set up the things. This is the uh, design that I like it. So it's up to you if you want to use it or not. This is where our biomass is stored and I will just build some bio shaft. Now let's draw this outside the system. And starting here. It will start here and since it's it's four, two, three and four. This is with the places where I'm gonna put my fermenters. We can put each ad up or down. Well since then we're gonna need to place right in the way let's place right from the first time. Let's get the range shift right click because this is a student respect Greg tech and output into the back. Now they didn't put the fuel generators on it. So it's gonna place just like this. And since it's not right it's shift again? No. I don't remember. Ah, anyway. I guess this will do it. Now let's split these pipes. Let's isolate with some cover. I'm gonna use wood for the outlining. And this one can stay there. Now let's completely isolate this pipe with a cover on the bottom and on the side. Here we're gonna place another pipe leading out of the fermenter and going up down up, up here let us grab the fluidic extract extractor let us make it output to the correct side if you can find some place to do it thank you the south this is south yes it is now let's place it into the first fermenter. Just like here. Now I was left is to say this to output to the correct side. So let's make this. I will do is place it here and go. As you see the bio shaft biomass is getting consumed. And all of this is getting biomass. All was left is for the fermenters to start working, but for that need power, need heat, and this for the generators need, need fluids to work. So that's why I made the solid one because the first biogas you get, you get it, you need to be manual. Like. 
this will be some kind of trick if you want to think about it. I found that what? This is not right. If you place sugar canes on the solid hydrogen generator, it will produce a little me a little of power and will produce almost always ashes. So you can say that this is one ash generator. Not that ash had many uses aside from get carbon dust from it or something else like don't know compost. But this will be the first to generate our biomass. And it's turning our biomass into biogas that is feeding the otters fermenters. As you see it is kind of split now because it don't have that money biomass to continually processing. But at some point it will produce enough bio biogas to starting all this process line to be continuous work. Let's work a little more with the solid with some all those they got from before. Now this one should be constantly running. And you see that the second one, the third and the fourth are already start to store some biogas. This is a good sign. This probably means that uh, I could already remove this. So let this last piece burn. It is done. Now let's remove this and place the fluid back online. Bring to the correct side. And now for the trick, we need to uh, to output this biogas back to the system to fill the heat we could output it to the back to directly feed the it won't feed it its own but there is no way to output it later for the system however for, for some unknown reasons you can actually say to a fermenter output biogas into and not a fermenter. This is strange, I know. But this is how the, this game is. Hmm. Maybe it needs need to be working to actually do something. Oh, derpy, derpy, derpy. Well, then let's just replace this one. Let's replace the last one this time. So, what the fuck are you doing? This will not work, you'll, you'll know this. And now you see Ongi derping around. Born, baby, born. Now it should probably starting outputting into the system. It should. What? Did it change it from last time?
<laughs> well then, that was a lot shameful to show, but it's okay. I guess updates change things. On the test world I did before, it was nothing happening this. Whenever I placed it, it always go to the nets through the heat generator that's fermented on its own without any problems. But it seems that maybe thunder dark or something, uh, someone else fixed it so that don't work anymore. Well, it's only with change that I now need to say to output the bottom and make the system more ugly because it will have less space. <laughs> oh, sorry for that. I really, really sorry for that. I did not expect it to happen. So let's place all the pipes back here. And it's on. Now let's get back up and place the correct ejectors. Go down. Go down. Go down and go down. Now the system feeds on itself. They produce biogas that you feel feed the old fluid generators and produce more bi biogas. This is how the system of turning biomass in biogas work. work. Later, I'm gonna place four more four fermenters on the top, and they will share this bronze pipes of biogas. However, here we have uh, the first problem of my setup. My setup was the full generators to keep it itself up. So this means that they only gonna start producing extra biogas when all of the food generators internal buffer are filled. Only that only when this happened that we're gonna start having extra biogas to starting making power. Now this levels with just the, the last part of it, the biogas consumption. But uh, I won't hit on to that when this setup I made is full. And I'm ne gonna need more, make more fermenters. <laughs> now our left is go to the last part. And for that uh, we're gonna use some more fluid, fluid heat generator with a stealing generator to get our power. And for that, just generator, more more heat conductor and iron casings. Now so let's first make the generators. No big deal. Then we get the heat conductors and the iron heating casing. Anyhow, we got our stealing engines. But before that, you need to make some e upgrade ejector, like you said before. So let us make this because I'm gonna need it. Let's go down. Now I have placed all the eight fermenters, they are all full, that's why they are stopped. And as you know from if you already play with this When the fermenter work, it will produce waste collection pr process that produce fertilizer, and we want that fertilizer. For that, that reason, I make the ejectors. That will say then to output from the front, 
Yes, from the front. I know this is weird, but it works, believe me. Let's place it on um, each one together with the fluid thing all the way. Always left is to place a pipe on it. And then it's up to you where it's gonna end. On this case, I'll put just here. And as you see, our chassis is getting filled with fertilizers. Yay! This will be the place where I'm gonna produce energy. So let's place the four stealing generators just here. And they're gonna start the power on this sensor. Let's face it correctly. And then let's put all the fluid hydrogenators around it. And range it right of course. And the pipe goes here. From here. And now it should start working. As you see, it's getting its fluid and it's producing energy. Now let's pick this cover place it here and set to only input allowed so no biogas is gonna hit on and with this all the energy should start be being generated let's go down there and see here we go power This is giving us power. Now let's switch this. Now let's make the system feed, it feed itself with EU. There we go. Now the system auto feed itself. So the remaining power we can add to the system to the OT stuff. So let's just do this. Just place it correctly. Wrong. And don't explode, please. And now power is flowing into the system. Very nice. And this is just a small part because it's all only one side. Using the pipes and the other stuff, I could add a second one here to generate more power. I did not make all the test but according to my calculations each two fermenters can feed one free one steel engine generator so this eight fermenters can keep this four stealing generating power for us forever forever until they have of course biogas <laughs> I must say that I was quite kind of impressed with this system. 
I told you I wanna expand more than I was than I think before. Since it's all machined, I told you I will need a lot of circuits, but in the end it did not need it. It's only a huge chin eater. But aside that, everything is fine. So this will generate to us a um, half a million voltage forever. If you want to make this, I will be glad. If you didn't, don't, don't want it, it's up to you. I thought it would, it would be better. It is better. <laughs> I don't know. I confuse it. With the change of the fluid not more injecting into the outer fermenters, it dropped my attention a little. So this is it. And since all this, all the biogas need to pass through here, the chance of the system get, chance of the fermenters get, with don't have more power, it's extremely low. Just uh, as a final note, the reason why the setup is somewhat better than the methane one is simply on the fuel based. Each process of the fermenter uses only 10 liters of biomass, that is very little, and each 10 liters of biomass become 200 biogas. However, all the process of the fermenter to get done consume 150 biogas. So three quarters of the biogas we produce is used to feed the system itself. But still, each cell of biomass, 1000 liters, can produce 20 biogas cells. Taking away the cost, each thousand Mini buckets of uh, as two biomass can be c will, will turn into five biogas cells, and each cell generate thirty two thousand EU. And since it's only required sixteen pumpkin to make one bio bio shaft, and just uh, one liter of water to make the biomass, it's very how very little how resources require. While the methane, methane it, it produces more energy and more faster. However, it consumes consum consume a lot of raw material. So if you have a way to generate raw material very fast, a methane farming is better. But in this case where, where I have I want to expand less how material as possible to get my fuel going, this biomass is more worthy. But as you see it is very expensive to make. A lot of ma a lot of machinery just for that amount of EU. And it's full. Is that so? What did I... Did not connect it. it. Now goes the boom. Now I have power. Soon I can be returned to my previous crafting. 